Hi, and thanks for stopping by. Please stay tuned to learn how to make this interactive Easter card. Don't you just love how Oliver picks his own carrot? We will be using Sizzix Tim Holtz Oliver Rabbit Die. I have the video instructions linked below on how to assemble him. We will be using Rooting For You by Lawn Fawn as well as their slider dies and just my type stamp set with, for the pull me tab. We will stamp out three carrots using our Misty so that we can get a good impression. I'll be using Distress Oxides, Spice Marmalade for the carrot, and Lucky Clover for the topper of the carrot. Then for the accents of the carrot, we will use Rusted Hinged, and for the topper, we will use Pine Needles. So you will stamp out three carrots. Then we will die cut the carrots. Next, you will want to trim a piece of cardstock to four inches by five and a quarter. We will make a beautiful background using our Distressed Oxide inks. We will be using Prize Ribbon and Mermaid Lagoon. The Prize Ribbon will be at the top because we're going to have a darker shade of sky down to a lighter shade of sky to put our elements on. And it's real simple just using your blending tools. I love working with Distressed Oxides. They just make blending easy and fun. The two dies to create this scene is a grass die by Sizzix and the Lawn Fawn Stitched Hill. This will make a nice garden scene for our bunny and to hide our carrots. Next, you'll want to get the placement of your hill and Oliver the Rabbit so you can determine where to put your slider and use your die cutting machine to cut the slider in that position. Cut a half inch a cardstock for your mechanism pull tab. Then make a channel for your pull tab by using double sided foam tape. Make sure, as you'll notice, I make a mistake to make your channel wide enough. I will also put a small piece of foam tape at the bottom of the mechanism as a blocker to stop the mechanism from going any further down the card. When I flip the card over, I use the static powder to make the uh, sticky part not sticky on that side of the card and I will adhere what came out of the slider when I cut it down to make a cohesive look so you don't really notice the slider. Then I will flip it back over and put another layer of foam tape onto the other foam tape to give it more dimension for the sliding mechanism. Next you will take a pop-up dot and adhere your carrot down onto the slider and you will pop up the hill mechanism so that the carrot has room to move. Next adhere two carrots on each side and then we will see where Oliver needs to be placed on the card. When we go to place Oliver on the card I notice that he's floating in the air and we don't want him floating in the air so I think we need to add another piece of grass. To add this grass we're going to kind of tuck it behind everything but we can't actually have the piece in the middle stay 
because it will block the carrot from coming up to Oliver. So we will place it and cut it so that it's on each side of the mechanism and it will work out for Oliver to stand on the grass and pull up his carrot. Using Lawn Fawn, just my type, I will use the pull here stamp. If you don't have that, you can write it. Cut the tab to the length that you want it to appear. Either write it or stamp it onto the tab. And now you have a fun, interactive card. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by.